Hello, 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 and welcome to Speed Dota. My name is Spode. Today we're going to be continuing our talk about Timbersaw. Last time we talked about how you can farm your Bloodstone. Today we're going to be talking about what the hell you should be doing with it. So, on that note, the gist. You want to use your Bloodstone in order to increase your own team's advantage. What does that actually mean? Well, Bloodstone gives you a lot of survivability. It gives you a lot of mana regen. This allows you to use your spells effectively and to not die in team fights. Your team isn't so lucky. Um, so you want to somehow be able to transform your advantage in being able to burst down enemies and survive really well into something that your team can use to win the game. And the way you do that is by killing objectives and protecting your own objectives. Um, objectives mean like protecting your towers or like killing towers, that sort of thing, building killing, that sort of thing. Um, you want to think of yourself as the giving tree. You cut down those fucking trees and then use whatever you just did as an analogy in order to win the game. Yeah, so how do we do it? We look for kills with our team. Um, that's pretty important because as a timber cell, we don't have a lot of lockdown. We have a really good bursting ability, um, but we don't have an ability to prevent the enemy from moving. Um, and we can really come into trouble if we end up in like a 1v3 position, or even worse, like a 1v4 or 1v5. Um, we want to use numbers advantages to push towers. Um, so you're really good at killing enemies. So once you've killed enemies, you should try to transform that bloodstone advantage from getting that one charge into an ability to push down towers and get more gold in your pocket, and more importantly, your team's pockets. Um, we also need to defend towers while letting our team push. The rest of our team can do the pushing. We're not that great at pushing ourselves. Um, we're good at killing creeps, and we're good at defending towers, and we're good at team fighting and being a big old distraction. Um, so when we've got enemies like Troll Warlord or Nature's Prophet or Naga Siren or something like that who are really good at pushing down towers um, alone and distracting our team from pushing down their towers, um, we need to be the one to deal with that because we're really good at it. And the rest of our team can continue pushing without us. Um, kind of leading off of that, we distract the enemy so our team can kill them. Whether that means pushing um, a different tower by killing all of the creeps and then immediately going back to your team. Or, like, in a team fight, you're this really big whirling ball of death. Um, and you throw out a lot of burst damage, and that can be a really good distraction and a really good deterrence from the enemy engaging you. Um, and finally, we want to not die, because I've put this in caps, because not dying is so fucking important that if you die too much as Timber Saw, you end up with like one lonely bloodstone charge, and you, one lonely bloodstone charge can't be transformed into an advantage for your team. It just can't. So we need to make sure we're not dying by doing stupid things like diving tier twos or tier threes or tier fours or fountains or freaking anything. Like don't go in one v five. That's a bad idea. Let your team um, initiate the fights and then you follow up the damage. That sort of thing. So, on that note, we're going to be looking at a game today from MSS, um, who's a really, really good Dota player. Um, far better than me. And we're going to be coming in at about 16 minutes and 10 seconds, um, and he's going to be looking to kill this Weaver, because his team has set up a really easy kill for him. He's just going to take it. He's going to get that one extra Bloodstone charge. That's pretty nice. You know what else he's going to do? He's going to notice, hey, there's a Beastmaster down here. That's pretty cool. Let's go kill him. Hey team, let's go kill him. And you know what? What's he gonna do? Hey, his team's right behind him. He goes in a little bit early, accidentally finds a Meepo. And unfortunately, the Meepo gets away because his team was just a little bit too far away. Um, but maybe we can get, still kill the Beastmaster? Nope. Don't have any way to stop him. Part of that's just your team comp. They don't have a lot of stuns. Um, but we're still near to an objective. Two enemies just TP'd out. We can totally just kill this tower very, very easily without an effect. And you'll notice, Invoker doesn't even need to be here. He can continue increasing his farm, getting more levels on him. And this is really, really good for us, because this means we can increase our advantage even more. Um, we're actually behind in this game, but that's about to change. Because, you know what? We can keep killing Ogre. We can keep pushing down this tier 2. And the only reason we need to stop is because Meepo is pushing top. So, Meepo's pushing top. Well, why should we give a shit? 
Well, we want to defend towers because we're Timbersaw. That's our job. Um, Invoker had a similar idea, and he was going to rotate up to the Meepo. Unfortunately, Beastmaster found him and is now going to kill him with the help of Meepo. But we're Timbersaw. We can defend. Oh, wait. We can't because Invoker's already dead. Unfortunately, um, that means we're not going to be able to get this. But that's okay because our... Ah, uh, frick. <laughs> That's okay, because Phantom Assassin and Io were still here. They were able to get the tower down to really low health, and they don't know that Weaver's here, even though Weaver is in fact here, and he's now going to get a deny on the tower. But let's look at that let's look at that exchange. Like, we almost got a bunch of kills. We've still got sixteen bloodstone charges. We lost an invoker, we killed an ogre, and we got a tier two tower. That's a pretty good uh, exchange and definitely what you want to be looking for is timber saw. So to kind of wrap it up, um, you want to be able to use your bloodstone to turn to get objectives and allow your team to gain advantage over the enemy. Um, and you do this um, by pushing towers, uh, by defending towers just by yourself while your team pushes towers, and by securing objectives like Roshan. Um, most importantly, you want to not die doing all these things, because if you die, you, use a lot of blood you lose a bl lot of bloodstone charges, which further decreases your advantage over the enemy team. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you will tune in next time when we will be discussing one of my personal games, um, and how I use the principles that I've talked about in these videos to become a better Timbersaw player.